Good morning. And uh, this uh, morning I want to just think about uh, this verse, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Jesus said, I will build my church. And the whole focus is upon him. He's the one. And I will build my church. And in the class we were st uh, studying about this, the great I am is going to do a work and which we are part of it. But sometimes we can take our eyes off from that and uh, focus upon <clears throat> our own achievement or our own differences and forgetting the fact that this belongs to him. This belongs to him. And we're not only focusing upon the what he has done, but we're focusing upon who he is. And uh, that's what like we have a Apostle Paul says in Titus chapter 2, 13, we're looking for a blessed hope. We're looking for a blessed hope and a glorious appearance of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's so easy we can be caught up with the details. We can so easy caught up with the, like, the, the little task. And so familiar, we can take our eyes off from, the, from that, our Savior. And, but he's a glorious God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, <clears throat> that's what sometimes the troubles or the, the trials or the tribulations helps us to like uh, uh, reset our perspective, reset our look. And uh, this is awesome. This is good. Sometimes that shaking can come as a corporately as a church or an individual as a believer this shaking is sometimes good so that we can focus upon him in psalm 54 verse 4 this is what god he says that behold god is my helper and you know, that Cheryl's, dr Cheryl's book perspective in 276 there is a story she wrote the story number 276 a stray dog in brazil was very ill and apparently went all by itself to the animal clinic. It was there that they realized this dog had a dangerous tumor and started to raise the money for his treatment. Whether the dog was just looking for a human care or intuitively knew what vets do is anyone's guess. But the important thing is that he sensed that he was in trouble and he went looking for help. And we are like we are not designed to be self-sufficient being. Ever so often, all of us need help. The key is knowing when to get help, who to go for help, and also conversely being available for someone who needs our help. And this is an, one of the greatest titles: God is my helper. God is my helper. So when you come to this, in this in the, in the concept of the church, he is the one. He is the one who is the helper. Because the Bible says that he is the one who building. And we are like as Apostle Paul says that Jesus Christ is the foundation and we are upon it. We are building it. Not in our strength, not in our human ideas, but in his strength by derived from the Holy Spirit, in his wisdom. The human, not human wisdom or earthly wisdom which is coming from below, but the wisdom which comes from above. Because that where the wisdom comes from above is peaceful and it is righteousness and the fruits of like a spirit. And this is a, this is an amazing thing that as we are here in this, as a, as in the corporately, as we are in this week, we are scattered different places, different uh, uh, areas but you and I are think about this habitation of God you are carrying the treasure the Holy Spirit is in you today maybe you feel weak you may feel be uh, tired or maybe the the task is uh, enormous but the thing is that Psalm 54 4 God is my helper we're looking to that blessed hope be looking that blessed hope who is who purchased us that who who given us a hope and a purpose in this time and this is a it's a great time as we consider and uh, praying for you uh, god bless father we pray for this day 
and uh, we pray for your blessing and your your presence lord help us to fix our eyes upon you as your word says i have set the lord always before me we thank you lord help us to walk in the in the awareness of your presence we thank you once again bless us evening service we pray for those who are sick heal them we thank you in jesus name we pray amen god bless